Hey everybody, I was I was happy to see this uh, question on the SMO Junior uh, 2021 problem 12, and I've seen this kind of problem before, and I guess it just it, the form of it makes it a popular choice for these math uh, competitions. But we're supposed to evaluate this radical obviously without a calculator, and it's the product of uh, the radicand is 219 times 220 times 221 times uh, 222 plus one. And you're supposed to evaluate that. Well, you know, it certainly, if that's going to evaluate, you would expect it to evaluate to an integer. And it's kind of surprising that it does by just by, by looking at it. First time I looked at it, I couldn't figure it out. I needed to get a hint or two on, on the type of algebra that was necessary. But just to motivate it slightly, um, let's just try an example. Let's say we wanted to do uh, square root of, uh, let's just use more tractable numbers here. Uh, let's say we have uh, two now consecutive, uh, four consecutive integers, their product, natural numbers. Plus one. Right. Okay. Uh, that gives you. Two times three is six, six times four is 24, five times 24 is 121, 20 plus one is 121. So that's the square root of 11 squared, okay? So it works out. Works out to a natural number, okay? So that's just one example. And you guys can verify, for, if you start with one, you'll end up with 24 plus one is 25. And, the, and so the square root of 25 is five. And so that's what motivates this algebra right here, because we, we, I, we try two cases. It's not strong induction, but we tried the uh, one and two as our starting points and got perfect squares each time. So one might anticipate that to be true, you know, inductively. So what we do here, and again, this part's unmotivated in the sense that you wouldn't know what to do algebraically unless you had done a little bit of arithmetic heretofore. And so that's exactly why I wrote it this way. So we have uh, four consecutive integers, their product, plus one, which is exactly the form of this radicand, all right? Now, it turns out rewriting it, rearranging it is, is the path to Rome here. We, we just hook up the n plus three with the n. You can see right here, we just rearranged it. We permuted it. We rewrote it, okay? But it's the same expression. Now, what's cool right here is that when you multiply this out, you get n squared plus three n, then n squared plus three n plus two. Now you're going, hmm, what's that all about? Well, what's 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 really interesting about it is that this is equal to A minus B. And this, I could not see, a colleague showed me this. Uh, you know, it just wasn't obvious this is the difference of two squares by its appearance. You know, you, you, you knew it had to factor into some kind of square expression but because of the relatively strong numerical evidence, right? But, Folks, you can see right here that, okay, so see that is the form A minus B times A plus B. And of course, this would be equal to uh, A squared minus B squared and that, and that neat folks, that to me, that is awesome, you know, okay. So that's equal to, this part right here is equal to A squared minus B squared for this choice of A here. Uh, N squared plus three N plus one, right? So if you take one away from N squared plus three N plus one, um, I, I probably should, I, I think I had this backwards, don't I? Yeah, uh, or no, wait, that's right. If, if you take one away from N squared plus three N plus one, you get N squared plus three N. And if you add one to n squared plus three and plus one, you get n squared plus three and plus two, okay? So that's definitely the form a squared minus b squared. And of course, the b is equal to one, right? b is equal to one. And so you see they offset each other. The ones there at the end offset each other, and you get this result right here. Uh, the, uh, you get a perfect square. Isn't that, isn't that cool? So what you do right here is just, it, it, you know, the rest of it's just, filling in the uh, blanks here, it follows that the product of four consecutive natural numbers plus one square root is equal to this result right here, n squared uh, plus three n 
plus one. Okay. Now you can verify up here for two. Like if you if you were to try it for two, uh, you would get uh, you would get two. Let me just write it right underneath. You would get uh, two squared plus uh, three times two plus one. Right. The radicand piece that is right, and so that's four plus six plus one is 11. That was real easy to do manually since these are small numbers. So how about the problem that we were supposed to solve? Okay, well, let's just call this thing R for radical up here. So we'll call it R so I don't have to recopy it. So um, the problem we're trying to solve, I'm gonna give it a name, I'll call it R. Now, so R is gonna be equal to, Again, folks, here's, here's the original problem. I gave it a name, R. So R, the very first uh, N in, in the radicand is 219. So it's gonna be 219 squared. Plus three times 219. Plus one. And y'all, I'm not. I don't even know what that number is equal to, but that's 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 the value of r. Two nineteen squared plus three times two nineteen plus one, whatever that is. I'm not interested in learning how to pronounce it now. This is the answer to the question. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I sure did.